Hey everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, the sounds in the background are sounds of rain. I'm experimenting with some different sounds as I get ready to switch this over from like my computer to like my um, actual camera to do these YouTube videos and I think it's gonna be really cool. So I love the rain. It's one of my favorite um, sounds. It's something that puts me in a really nice mood. Probably be backwards or the opposite of most people but I'm a rain person. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. Should a man pay on the first date? Now, I'm gonna break down what I really feel about this. Um, obviously, I'm not dating, but obviously, um, this was a conversation that I had way back. We're talking like six years ago, in a forum in a Catholic group. And the topic came about just generally in the forum of, well, shouldn't a guy pay on the first date? And when it came to me, I was like, it depends on the date. And everybody was like, Arr? what like, what does that mean? Like, what do you mean by that? Especially this one, young lady I don't remember her name and I wouldn't put her out there but I'm gonna put her out there she was just like jumpy like I don't understand why you wouldn't pay are you El cheapo and I said look let's break this down let's be real about this people I said I'm gonna break it down to them just like I broke it down I'm gonna break it down to you all I mean as I broke it down to her if you are meeting a woman for the first time and what I mean by that is let's say you are a person that likes to date and meet people Okay, so maybe you're looking for the right one, but you are using that time frame to say, I'm going to go out on a few dates to see if I can find the right person. Or maybe you were set up on a blind date. Okay, or maybe you met that person through someone. It, it doesn't matter. If you go out with that person face to face after speaking to them a couple of weeks, you don't know that person. So to me, it would be stupid to invest in a dinner over somebody you don't know. That's just that's just me. Like, I mean, if I don't know you, and this is me, the past me talking, this is where I was thinking, if I don't know you, I'm not taking you out to dinner. I'm not doing it, man. Like, I'm not gonna spend $75 or $100 at Olive Garden or whatever it is, and I don't know you. I don't even know you, man. Like, really, you want me to spend that type of money and your, atten your intention with me could just be for the actual date. Hell, I, you could be hungry. And just be like, you know what? I'm hungry, man. I ain't get a chance to go grocery shopping. And this nice guy over here wants to hang out. I'm going to get him to take me to get some food. And then I'm, I don't really got to deal with him anymore. As a guy that's smart and been around, I, I, I can see through that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, ain't, that, I ain't that guy that was ever going to do that. So I always felt that if you're going to meet somebody under those circumstances, now we're only talking about those circumstances I named, the first date or the first meeting should be over coffee. It can be over ice cream. It could be over something like that. If you like alcohol, it could be over a glass of wine and, or something like that. You do something very simple that's not a large investment because the whole context of that situation is that you're getting to know each other. You're getting to have those conversations to figure out if you are compatible, which could lead you both to actually go out on an actual second date. You don't invest on the first date. I'm going to take her to the movies. I'm going to take her to a concert. I'm gonna take. You don't know this young lady. So at the end of the day, that's called leading with the wallet. And I got I know somebody that does that quite often. And, 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 and it's a little bit pulled from the story here, but he does it so much and then he complains, man, I'm always wasting money on these girls. And I literally did the math. I said, here's the equation. Your component A, you went out with girl A, B, C, D, E, F, G, okay? All of them played you for money. What's the common denominator? And and and, and Dum Dum was like this. Um, uh, what, 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 uh, I don't know. And I said, here we go again. Your subject A, right? You went out with A, B, C, D, E, F, G. They all played you for money. Who's the common denominator? A don't know B, B don't know C, C don't know D, C don't know A. So none of these girls over here know each other. So you're the common denominator. It's not their fault you're getting paid for money. It's your fault you're getting paid for money because you keep leading with the wallet. That's my point. Instead of leading with the wallet, lead with common sense and you won't keep getting played out of money. That, that's Okay, that's that. So anyway, the girl in the group kept going off and going off saying, well, you know, I wouldn't even talk to a guy if he didn't want, if he wasn't willing to spend a couple of dollars on me. And I was like, are you single? She was like, well, yeah. I said, then obviously no guy wants to talk to you and spend a couple of dollars on you. Everybody was tripping, but I was being real. I was like, I'm not, I would never be that stupid, you know? So one young lady that was in, in, inside the forum had, was actually talking to her mom while she was in the forum. And her mom kind of said, I agree with this, this guy. It's not fair to guys to keep spending money on women who have no interest. So another girl comes in and says, I'm, I'm guilty. 
this guy, this girl that came into the conversation lived in Minnesota, and anybody who's been there know they have the Mall of America there, which is a great tourist attraction. So this guy who really liked her was like, look, I got tickets to the, to the amusement park, which is actually inside the mall, and I've been there. It's really awesome. So would you like to go? She said, I didn't even like the guy, y'all, but I went because he bought the tickets, and I felt like I could get out. I wasn't going to have a really deal with the guy. And I was wrong for that. This is what the girl was saying. So the other girl that was all being mouthy was like, oh, well, I guess I never looked at it like that. And I just went like this. Fellas, it really depends on the context of the date. If you are going out on a date with someone you just met, you have no time invested in this person. Do not take this person out to dinner or anything extravagant simply because you don't know the person. Get to know the person, and then you want to invest. That's cool. The girl may call you cheap. The girl may call you dumb dumb. The girl may call you out cheapo. But the one thing she can't call you is broke because you wasn't stupid enough to do that. So that's just my um, opinion and interpretation on that. I am somebody who strongly believes that um, you always be the gentleman in every situation. Now, um, obviously, there's different ways that you meet people. And, um, you know, you have in my situation, obviously, I'm engaged to be married. That's a completely different dynamic. Um, I was never somebody that dated. So I was never put inside that 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 realm of dating. I didn't I didn't really agree with dating. I was in my 40s. So it's like, I don't I, I don't do that. You know, what I'm saying like, I don't mind. I didn't mind meeting someone at that time. But I was like, I'm not dating my way to find happiness. I'm going to search for it and, and, and help God I find it. And I found it in the love of my life. And I'm thankful for that. But certainly, you know, you don't do that. So I think, you know, guys don't treat on the first date unless it's something simple. Coffee, a glass of wine if you are into that. Maybe ice cream if the weather is nice. Something simple to get to know the woman. If the woman comes back and tells you that's not enough, then that's not the one. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Um, you have to protect your coin. You have to protect who you are financially. You lead with the wallet. You putting yourself out there like the dumb dumb that I know. You know what I'm saying? And I keep telling him, you keep compromising yourself. You can't blame the girls that's playing you for money. You keep putting yourself there. So it's as simple as that. So um, that's the end of the video. It's a really quick one. Everybody have a blessed day. Fantastic convo. Stay tuned as I transition from the, the computer and the phone to the actual camera that can give me better, you know, lighting and give me better sounds and all this other stuff. I'm really looking forward to doing that. Peace.